What's up guys, Skittle Rampage here. So today we're going to be talking about some upcoming Funko Pops for 2022, possibly 2023 for anime, Marvel, Star Wars, DC, and much more. So let's check it out. Hey everyone, welcome back to another Funko News update video. Today we have some really great stuff like Mob Psycho Funko Pops, as well as a next wave of Boruto Funko Pops, a ton of Star Wars, Disney, and just all kinds of different things to share today. Now we're going to be sharing these from Northeast Funko Beast over on Instagram. They shared a ton of upcoming Funko Pops, so that's where I got these from. As well as we're going to go over a couple things that I missed from yesterday's announcements, so let's jump into it. Actually, before we jump into that, I thought of something cool. Let's do like a question of the day for every single video. I think that could be really fun to be honest, I gotta write that down somewhere or I will definitely forget. So today's question is, what is your favorite movie in existence currently? So announced yesterday, we did get a ton of brand new Hockey Funko Pops. We got seven brand new ones. They're currently available for pre-order if you do want to pick them up. And I think they look pretty good. I saw a couple people kind of disappointed they didn't get certain characters. If you are a hockey fan, comment down below what's a character Funko has not made yet that you would love to see. Now, these are slated for an August through September release, possibly a little earlier than that. So if you do want to pre-order, and that's when you can expect them currently. Now sharing Disc Tracker's collage from Funko Fun TV last night where they showed off a ton of the brand new Nightmare Before Christmas Blacklight Pops, we got a lot of stuff here. As you can see, we have some of the plushies there that are blacklight, the minis that are blacklight. Oh no, my bad, those are Spunko sodas. They look really good though. We also do have the pocket pops there, uh, which look really nice. What kind of blacklight do they have? Because I need it. <laughs> we also do have the 10 inch Jack Skellington with zero as well as Oogie Boogie there, the Funko Shop exclusive. We also do have the Mayor and Zero, Sally and Oogie Boogie, and then we do have the Funko Shop exclusive Santa Jack Skellington, as well as Jack Skellington, the Hot Topic exclusive with Snake, and then the regular Jack Skellington. And since we're talking about them, the Jack Skellington Hot Topic exclusive we just showed with the snake going through his skull is actually hitting Hot Topic stores right now. Outside of that though, I think all of these do truly look really good. I'm still on the stance a little bit that they're kind of going crazy with Blacklight, but it's their thing right now essentially, like Metallic was, Chrome was, so I get it. I just don't want them to go crazy overboard with it. It would just be nice if it was like super limited and like really, really exclusive. I feel like that makes it a lot more fun than just throwing black light paint on everything. But at least these turned out really well. We also got another Pop Rocks announcement yesterday and that was Judas Priest. And this one is slated for an August through September release as well if you guys do currently want to pre-order it. Now shared from Epic Collectibles, I did want to give you guys an in-person look at the Katara Funko Pop, the brand new box warehouse exclusive glow in the dark feature here. This is actually really good. I love the wave going all around her. That's a very vibrant blight, uh, bright blue. However, again, the only thing I really don't like about certain glow-in-the-dark pops is that they, they don't illuminate the face, so you can't actually see those details in the dark. Then it just kind of looks weird, very dark on the face, unless you like really charge that bad boy up and it's like kind of illuminating it. I like pops that illuminate their faces. I think it really looks really cool. And even if her eyes didn't glow or hair didn't glow or anything like that, I think it still looks really good when it illuminates face because then you can see all the details in the dark versus just that glow feature. Now that we've gone over a couple things that I did want to show you, let's jump into our upcoming Funko Pops. Firstly, we do have DC Universe. Uh, we do have Aquaman as a comic cover here. This does look to be common, uh, so it will be available everywhere. We also do have an Aquaman 2 Pop 1 through 9. So Aquaman 2, I believe it's called The Lost Kingdom if I'm not mistaken with Jason Momoa and Amber Heard. Obviously not a lot of people like her right now. Anyways though, uh, it is going to have pop one through nine, so basically nine pops, as well as a pop deluxe ride, and then a ton of different exclusives, I'm sure. Now we also do have for DC Universe, Lucifer, a mini deal with wings, Mazikeen, and Lucifer. If I'm not mistaken, that Lucifer is supposed to have like a chase with his devil face. I saw a couple rumors going around for that. I don't know if that's still on, or if it's just going to be, you know, regular Lucifer pop. We'll see what happens when the announcement does come. But I am glad to see that these are still coming, because I would love to see what they turn out to be and kind of look like. Now next up we do have Marvel here and quite a few actually. We do have Ant-Man and the Wasp Pop 1 through 4, so four different pops there. Ant-Man and the Wasp Pocket Pop, two of those, as well as Gingerbread Iron Man, a Pop T. She-Hulk, we're going to get seven different pops and a ton of different exclusives when that show does start, as well as a Thor Love and Thunder Zeus Pop. I think that one might be really cool looking, as well as a Stan Lee comic cover. I think out of all of these, I would love to see what that Stan Lee comic cover looks like. I think that's going to be really cool and definitely a hot seller. 
I, I don't know. I think I think it's just going to be really cool. I can't even imagine what the background's going to look like. Maybe all the heroes he helped create. I have no idea. Anyways, though, that one just kind of excited me. Next up, we do have Castlevania. Now, this is funny. I have not actually watched past the first season. I don't even know if there's a second season or third season. I have not watched past the first season. I remember watching it, but it's been so long. So do I have any Castlevania fans? Let me know down below. We do have Carmilla there, as well as Hector, Isaac, and Lenore, I believe is how you pronounce that name. So four different common characters and maybe possibly exclusives in this lineup as well. Next up, we do have Disney. We have quite a few for Disney. We do have a Snow White and Seven Dwarfs movie poster, so it's going to be one of those big looking uh, kind of like pop displays like the Jurassic Park one. We also do have Disney 100 Walt Disney withdrawing. I think that might look really cool. I'm not exactly sure how it's going to look, but it might look cool. And then we also do have the Disney classic Daisy Pocket Pop as well as a Donald Pocket Pop, Mickey, and Goofy there. Um, and then moving on, we do have Disney Holiday Santa Mickey t-shirt, a Fantasia movie poster. A lot of people are going to be really excited about that, I feel like. Um, and then we do have a ton of uh, Pinocchio, I guess the next wave of Pinocchio, Black Rabbit, Geppetto, Wood Spirit, uh, Pinocchio and Cricket and a Pinocchio movie poster. So again, a lot coming for Disney. It does look like for Star Wars, we have more Book of the Boba Fett pops coming. We do have Mando with Pouch as well as a new Cad Bane. That'll be the third Cad Bane now. Grogu with armor. I always pronounce his name as Croissant just because I can't ever say it. So we're going to call him Croissant for anybody wondering that's the backstory. His name's Croissant, all right? Don't question it. As With BG as well as more Major Domo, Major Domo, I can't pronounce Listen, you guys know I'm not a Star Wars person. Anyways, though, a bunch of different ones coming from Book of Boba Fett, so make sure to stay tuned, Star Wars fans. Next up, we do have WWE. We do have Rhea Ripley as well as The Rock 1996. That's going to be actually kind of funny. I wonder if Dwayne Johnson would buy that pop. <laughs> I think he should. I think it's an important moment in his history. And then we do have Ricky Steamboat as well as Bret Hart versus Shawn Michaels. Kind of one of those like ring things they have like they did with The Rock and Cena. I still haven't bought that yet, but I have nowhere to display it. So that's why I haven't bought it yet. Anyways, though, not a bad lineup for the next WWE wave. And I'm sure we're going to get a bunch of exclusives as well. Moving along, we do have some brand new Boruto Funko Pops. So the next wave of Boruto. Firstly, we do have Barry on Mode 6 Inch. Obviously, a lot of people are really, really, really really excited about this. And the fact that it's a six inch pop, I think this is going to look amazing. Now, the question is, are we going to be getting a glow in the dark one or version of this? I'm assuming yes. If I'm not mistaken, that was one of the rumors that was a glow in the dark. Uh, so we should see this one as glow in the dark in the future. Maybe if it doesn't release in this wave, maybe a one off exclusive later on. But I'm assuming Funko is definitely going to make glow in the dark of this one because why wouldn't they? We also did get Shinki as well as Samiri with Rasengan, Boruto with Rasengan, Mitsuki with Snake Hands, and Sarada with Sharingan, as well as a Boruto Pocket Pop and Kawaki Pocket Pop. So, a ton of different, like, uh, like, I don't know what to describe it. It's like almost like mini Pop Deluxe, where they have the added features, like, as, as I said, Boruto with Sharingan, as well as Mitsuki with the Snake Hands. I think this wave is going to shape up to be something really, really cool. Now, we do have a couple repeat characters, unfortunately. It would be nice to see some other characters from the show, but... I still think all of these pops are going to look really, really good just based off their descriptions and name titles. So I'm curious to see how these turn out, especially Naruto Baryon mode. I want to see how that pop turns out. Let me know down below, Boruto slash Naruto fans, are you excited about this next wave? Now, one thing I am kind of curious about is that we have so many other characters rumored for this next wave. So I'm really curious to see what turns into an exclusive in this wave and if we possibly end up getting a wave four to get the rest of those exclusives. Because I was expecting this wave to be a little bit different. So it's kind of interesting matching these up with these like official official ones with the rumors that we've already talked about for months and months. Now another exciting announcement for anime, we do have Mob Psycho 100. Now this one just kind of came out of the blue. I wasn't expecting this, but I think it's really cool that we're getting a ton of different animes. Featured in this lineup, we do have Toichiro as well as Reigen Shigeo as well as Toichiro 100% as a six inch pop. So. Pretty cool lineup. I'm sure we'll get other exclusives in this lineup. It'll probably either be this big or somewhere around the same size as Black Clover, to be honest, because, I mean, that was only, what, like five pops total with the Chase variant, so it'll probably be the same situation like this. But let me know down below for Mob Psycho fans. Are you guys excited about this lineup? Again, I thought it was really cool that it was just a random pop-up and something nobody was expecting, and I think it's really cool and exciting. For Funko Pop Games, we did have a couple different things. We do have Warhammer here, Nexron Warrior, as well as Chaos Space Marine and Sister of the Battle. We did also have a Overwatch Pop T coming as well as Overwatch question mark. I don't know if there's a character named question mark or maybe it's just listed as mystery right now. We also did have Assassin's Creed as a pop game cover, Assassin's Creed Pop T, Dead by Daylight Huntress, and Dead by Daylight The Doctor. So pretty cool games lineup. 
For pop music, we did get quite a few. We do have Janis Joplin, The Cure 5 Pack, Elvis Presley as a pop tea, Rosalia um, Mal Malamente, I think that's how you pronounce that, as a pop, Shakira Oro Fixation Pop, Michael Jackson Super Bowl, and U2 uh, Pop Deluxe Album Cover. And lastly, our miscellaneous list, we do have some ESPN uh, with Desk Deluxe. We do have Desmond Howard, Lise Corso, and Reese Davis. We also did get Wednesday Pop 1 through 3, as well as Tweety's 80th Anniversary Pops, Tweety and Nest, and Tweety with Binoculars. Brandalize Balloon Silhouette Figure, Brandalize Robot with Case, Harry Potter Holiday Pop Tea, and Avatar 2009 Pops, which we've talked about in the past. So guys, it does look like 2022 through 2023 possibly is shaping up to be quite the year. We have all kinds of different stuff coming. Some exciting stuff for anime, some, some exciting stuff for Disney, Star Wars, pop games, all kinds of different stuff. I love that there's something here for everyone here. So let me know down below what was your favorite thing we just talked about and what would you love to see Funko make? Now, I do want to say a big shout out to all the Patreon supporters of the channel. Thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate your love and support. If you guys want to check out the Patreon, the link is down below. We do have a Patreon-only Discord where we share a lot of information, we share updates, we share restock news, and you can make a ton of friends in there. We also have a Facebook group with over 13,000 members that you can join, as well as make sure to follow me on all my social medias, all at Skittle Rampage, for more updates. All right, love you guys. See you guys in the next one. See you guys later. Bye.